So it's basketry, beading techniques, stitchery, embroidery, weaving, quilting, mixed media, surface design is a whole part of it. And there's sculpture, there's handmade paper, there's felting. There's this great piece behind me that I love. And really the theme for Fiber Focus is the media itself, is, is fiber. There's so many different techniques. There's a common thread, fiber, but there's so many different techniques and so many different things expressed all using this common vehicle. Fiber art is awesome because you can just keep growing in it. It's never just stitching. At first I was just embroidering and I would paint on some of the fabric and stuff. Now at this point I have wood in a lot of my pieces and sequins and beads and gold foil and just anything I could think of. The other thing that I, I think influenced my working in needlework was being a part of the feminist movement during the 70s and how the importance and the validity of women's work and being comfortable with women's work and being able to say important things while using a woman's craft. So someone might think, oh, fiber art, okay, that's gonna be grandma's quilts. That's great. And then they start coming in a little more and they start seeing, oh, that's a mixed media sculpture. How is that fiber art? And learning new things about any kind of media and making it a little more understandable and approachable and, and yeah, relatable. It's hard anyway to do just one piece because it also has stitching. A lot of people layer their fabrics, quilts. I mean, that's crazy how many things they stack on top of each other and how many stitches have to go through it. You can kind of see what it is, but it's really hard to fully appreciate fiber art unless it's in front of you. I mean, this show in particular, I looked online, I saw all these pieces and the pictures, and then you come in and it's completely different. Like, it's made in a whole different way than you could have possibly imagined it was, and you, some of them are like magical. It's like, how is this even held together? How is it hanging on the wall? The pieces are drawings realized. So I always begin the idea with a drawing, then do a color, and then do the finished piece in thread. And I like that it can be anything that you want it to be. This piece for me specifically was inspired by my honeymoon. We went on a month-long road trip, and in the middle of that road trip got stranded in the desert for 17 hours. So <laughs> I went to Parashant National Monument. I thought, this is gonna be awesome. It's so isolated, incredibly dark, and so you can see the Milky Way there in a way that you really can't see here at all. One of the most beautiful things I've ever seen, and that's what this piece is. The two pieces I have in the exhibit, one came from a feeling and the feeling that one gets when they hear about all the awful things that are happening to people around the world and you're sitting here and doing nothing about it and I wanted to express that feeling. The other piece, it just, the image came to me and I did the drawing and I, then I looked at the drawing and I thought, oh this is interesting, here's butterflies, the epitome of beauty and freedom, and dismemberment, all in the same image. And oddly enough, they work. Fiber Focus 2019 is on view at Art St. Louis, and we're in downtown St. Louis at 1223 Pine Street. And the exhibit is on view through October 24th. We're open Monday through Friday, 8 to 4, and Saturday, 9 to 3.